everybody, it's Linda. This is a 10 minute video and I'm going to show you how to put song files for soup on your tablet. Super. So I'm going to be showing you with an iPad, an Apple product. I don't have an Android tablet. You can certainly use an Android. Android people have been having a few more issues than uh, Apple users, but it's doable. So make sure you have a tablet. And the first thing you do is you go to the App Store and you get Dropbox, if you don't already have Dropbox. So uh, from the App Store, just put in search, search for Dropbox, find that right blue icon and download it. I believe it's free. Then you're going to want to download Songbook by Linksoft. I believe it's called Songbook by Chord Pro. So let's go back to the search. In the App Store, we're going to type in Songbook and uh, you will find it it's that yellow and black icon and uh, download that and that costs about 13 dollars i think currently for a tablet so that's not too expensive and it's certainly worth the money it it's, makes it super easy to access all your songs and have them scroll beautifully at a gym or at home okay so then you want to get the files from my dropbox into your dropbox and the way you do that is we used to do it by, I would send you the link, send you the files. Now you can just go to the link that's on the website, probably right beside this video and get the files that way. So click on there, they will go into your Dropbox. Then go back into your tablet, go into Dropbox and check to make sure you have the right files. So you're looking for a file that's called Songbook. If you have a file that's called Songbook 1 or Soup Songbook or Songbook Screen version, uh, it works best if the title is only Songbook. Apple people will find that as long as Songbook is in the title, you're okay, you can probably access the files. But Android people, for sure, it has to be called only Songbook. So there's a way to rename it. If, if it has the wrong title, just go into that and find a way to rename it. I'm not going to take you through all those little steps. Rename your file, make sure it's called Songbook. Okay, and then you want to go into Songbook. So go to your screen and find that little yellow and black icon, go in there and you will see, uh, oh, you wanna make sure that you're linked and synced. Okay, so go into settings. So on an Apple product, it's down at the right hand side here, go into settings, scroll down until you find um, link to Dropbox and you're gonna to wanna to click on that and you'll get a prompt to allow Dropbox to share files with you and do that. And it'll say, you know, do you want to sync now? It's asked the want to sync now. And once that's connected, go back into settings in Songbook and flick the little lever so that it's green beside the thing that says link automatically to Dropbox. So when that is on, when you are linked and synced, then every time you go back to that main page, uh, you, will automatically, it will automatically update all your songs and you'll see this little circle of thing whirling about. You know, it's doing its work. So on that main page, um, you should have something that's just called songbook files. You may have other files in your songbook, I don't know. But if you have, say, an unfiled songs category or you've got duplicate songs, you've got them in, in songbook, but you've also got them in something else, I don't know. Sometimes it's doing strange things with unfiled songs. You can eliminate a whole category in this way. So from this screen, I go to edit. And then I see all of those categories. And if one of them has no songs in it, or it has duplicate songs in it, I can just click on that little red uh, do not enter sign and it will eliminate the whole category. Uh, and even if you accidentally eliminate the right one, you can just get it again through Songbook. It'll 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 update automatically. So don't don't panic if you accidentally eliminate Songbook. Uh, okay, so um, you want to make sure that you have the most recent files. So I'm going to ask you to go back to Dropbox now. Dropbox now, and uh, check to see that the little icon, the little blue Songbook icon, has heads in it as opposed to just being a solid blue. It should have a couple of heads in it. That means that you're linked to the group, to the group file. You wanna see that. If you don't have heads in there, then you, I, would, I would delete that and I would try the link again or contact me. Um, all right, you wanna make sure that your file names do not have the word screen in them. It's only 
number sign, uh, then the number of the song always has three digits, and then the name of the song. So when you're in songbook, uh, you shouldn't be seeing a screen or an S in the title or a key of or a 4-4 four, four time. It should only be the number of the song in the title. Those are the most recent files, and they don't have any dates at the bottom. You can also check that as well. All right. Some cool things that you can adjust or need to adjust in Songbook once you have all the songs. Uh, so you want to go to settings, and again, this might look different in Android, but it probably has the same features somewhere. You want to make sure your instrument is correct. Instrument, so go to instrument, make sure it's ukulele C tuning. Um, metronome, you have a choice if you, you can have your metronome uh, ticking or a flashing or both. What you want to make sure is that at a jam, you don't have your metronome going, so just turn your sound down. Um, it's just distracting for the person who's trying to hear their metronome on the stage uh, if they hear other tickings going on. So thank you. But for home, at practicing at home, it's a great idea to use the metronome through a song just so you can get the feel for the pace of the song. Um, it's always our goal to all be going at the same pace and we're trying to do the same pace every time so that you know what pace the song is done at. You can um, oh make sure that you've got your chords displayed. So go down to the part in settings where it talks about chords. I think you have a choice of bottom or along the right hand side. I put mine along the right hand side. You can also custom design your colors for your, your comments, what's, uh, what's in comment form. Um, if you go into fonts and colors, custom design, uh, there's, I think, another thing in there that we haven't done anything with, but you can, you can just play around with what colors. Uh, you can make it as solid or kind of translucent see-through as you want. So you want it to be see-through so you can see the words underneath. Um, you can play around with that. All right, we'll go back into uh, the main song list and you're at the bottom, you're going to see, uh, these now are tips I'm gonna give you to how to use your tablet in a jam most effectively. Go to playlists. We have playlists for each of the song index groups. So if it's week number one, you're just gonna work from that song list number one, you know all the songs in that list are on that list. Um, you wanna make sure that the size of your tablet is not too small because some of those tablets, if you ha had maybe half the size of this, it wouldn't be very efficient. You wouldn't be very seeing very many of the words in the song uh, unless you had it really small. So I find it uh, regular iPad um, size is, works pretty good. You wanna have it vertical. The songs are designed to, to be seen like a page. So there are not a whole, excuse me, a whole lot of words on every line. It's uh, gonna work best if you have it vertical, meaning the, the longest part is this way and it's shorter this way. There are a few songs, California Dreamin' and uh, This Little Light of Mine, where you're gonna wanna turn your um, pad, uh, your tablet horizontal in order to see the song properly. Uh, you can play around with how big or how small to make the words, that is to your taste, but the smaller the words, the more likely that the words we're actually gonna be singing are gonna be on the screen. The scrolling is gonna work better if you have it sort of medium size, not, not too big, uh, not too big words. If it's too big, uh, the scrolling might not work properly. All right, uh, one little tip about sorting. If, if the words don't, songs don't seem to be in the right order, just go to um, those three little lines, wherever they are, and you wanna sort by title, sorting by title. Uh, let's see, the other thing is if uh, if we add a new song to the songbook and it's not officially in the book yet, we've just tested it with you, we, it will always be in your tablet uh, before we test it even. So um, you don't ever have to take one of those uh, songs that we give out when we're teaching a new song because you've already got it in your tablet. I think that's pretty much, oh, oh, how to scroll, right? Okay, so you're on the song and you press that little arrow that's at the bottom right corner, bottom left corner. And the time to press it, this is really important, is as soon as you hear the count and start. So the leader's going one, two, one, two, three, four. As soon as you hear that one, uh, press it. So it's, it's designed so that the song starts with the intro in the middle of your page. So don't push it up so that the, mitros, the intro's at the top. It's supposed to be in the middle so that the, the song that we're singing, we're always at the part and it's generally in the middle of the page. I think that's all I have to say. We're five seconds left. This is perfect timing. See you at a jam. Let me know if you have any questions or problems.